Hello, everyone. Can you hear us? Good evening, Rajvi. Thank you so much for replying. Good evening, Deepa. Good evening, Akriti. Good evening, Malaika. Great, great. Good, good to see all of you here on time. We'll just take a minute till every one of you is joining in. Just message your friends, your network to join in for the webinar. We are going to be discussing all about creative careers, dear students. We are going to be talking to our esteemed speakers who are accolades in their domain. They are the professors who are going to be describing about the careers. And specifically, we are going to be talking about design and media studies. So just stay tuned. All right. So I'll just set in the tone and the introduction, and then we'll start. So when we talk about creative careers, it has changed a lot when it comes to the industry. The first thought that earlier used to come in our mind, maybe for someone can be just painting, drawing, but now it has evolved into lots and lots of interesting careers. So for the audience, this is a quick question. Can you name some creative careers, name some new age careers related to design, media studies, any careers that you can think of? Just type in the chat for us, please. Oh, wow, Ruthie has replied very quickly. Media designer, social media, absolutely. Game animations, product design. YouTube Tanmi can be clubbed into social media. Absolutely. Data analytics. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Any others? Any others? We have graphic designing. We have UX and UI designing, interior designing, architecture. Yes, architecture is a conventional career. And of course, it has developed into a new age form. And we'll discuss that for sure. Interior designing, fashion designing. Very interesting. So lots and lots of inputs coming in. So students with our esteemed panelists, we are going to have deep end discussion in terms of the industry courses and how you as a student can prepare and apply for these careers when we look at creative domain. Uh, Valerie, over to you. Let's start with the quick introductions and then we'll deep dive into the uh, panel discussion. Thank you, Soumya. So I'm Valerie. I work as a career coach with Mindler. And from Mindler, we have today Ms. Soumya, who will be our moderator. She is also a senior career coach at Mindler. She has done her undergraduate uh, and master's degree from University of Delhi in psychology. And with us, we have our esteemed speakers for today. Uh, I would allow me to introduce uh, Professor Devakar uh, Shukla. Professor Devaka Shukla is a professor and dean faculty of journalism and creative studies at Jagran Lake City University. He's a seasoned expert in the fields of social and brand communication, new media technologies and corporate social responsibility at Harvard Business School. He also holds extensive experience working with premier organizations like World Bank, Netherlands Embassy and Oglavi. Uh, welcome to you, sir. Uh, our second speaker today is uh, Dr. Nina Singh. She is a professor and dean of academics at the World University of Design, and she holds a PhD from the School of Planning and Architecture in New Delhi and a postgraduate qualification from UCL London. With experience teaching at Sushant School of Art and Architecture, Bilkind University, Ankara and Amity University and heading the School of Architecture at Goenka University. Dr. Nina has also presented her work at esteemed platforms worldwide and remains committed to exploring history, theory and design processes in architecture. We welcome you, ma'am. Our third speaker for today, we have Professor Arvind Lodia. Sir uh, is an innovation uh, strategist and the professor of design at Vidya Shilp University and consults across sectors, conducts lectures at premier institutes and conferences in India and overseas. He was appointed as the creative director at Ogilvy, where he led the corporate rebranding re of ICICI and led strategic designing assignments from Seagram, HLL, Irwin, Lakme, Godfrey, uh, Godfrey and Cadbury's and many more brands. 
besides designing products and services for various brands academia government uh, agency he also sits on committees and panels on industry policy and educational agendas he is also a board member of leading ngos in the field of tech innovation for education and community run media thank you for joining us sir and we welcome you all thank you thank you so much valeri uh so we'll keep i see few of you are comfortable in hindi so we'll keep a mixed english and hindi together and uh, so my first question to all the respected panelists is that when we talk about creative careers there has been a huge change in the industry so earlier this was the assumption that creative careers are not very lucrative this is a misconception that has been carried for a long time but that is not true at all not earlier and not in today's time as well so what how exactly can we define creative careers and when we talk about design and media studies what exactly are the new age career trends that have come up in the industry uh, dr nina over to you what do you think thank you so much samya so <clears throat> um what is happening uh, in the world of uh, design is uh, now uh, to put it very mildly very exciting uh, because uh, it seems now design has permeated across domains so design is now an integral part of engineering design thinking is an integral part of management studies uh, humanities so um, what we used to be saying you know forever that uh, Uh, in the field of architecture especially that uh, you know this is a way of life it's a way of thinking um and uh, your your sort of you know it's not just a job it's not just something that you do sometime it's just something that you have to do all the time and now it seems um, with the advent of our uh, fourth industrial revolution of you know the internet taking over everything and artificial intelligence coming in um and also uh, i think the pandemic though it's uh, it's unfortunate but the pandemic has taught us a lot of lessons um and design thinking and creativity has now emerged as a very integral part of uh, not just you know students in in, in careers but it's uh, across uh, it's it's becoming a way of life um so therefore uh it's become it's becoming very uh, important for our school students because um uh, it seems as if so far our school education the the, the k12 education as we would like to call it maybe high schools yes is not uh, very much in tune with what is happening uh, you know once you graduate from school so it's very good that uh, you know um, organizations like mindler are conducting these uh, workshops to um, you know allow our high school students to become aware of what is happening um so at wud we are a pioneering institution in the field of creative studies so uh, we have seven schools um starting with architecture we have a school in business which is uh, design management then we have a school of communication we have a school of design which is like a core design um we also have a school of fashion and we have a school of visual arts and the school of performing arts which is a, our our newest kid on the block we just it's just one year old uh and what we are uh, attempting to do is to um, redefine higher education in the creative domain because um, uh, as we all know stem you know the science uh, streams they uh, are extremely popular and um, we keep complaining um, within the creative and the design fraternity that they seem to have taken over you know uh, the students minds um, because you know it's engineering and you go to the iit then you do your mayor management and that that's it you're done uh, but Uh, because uh, the exposure to design is not as uh, as widespread as as stem would have us believe uh, therefore uh, the the understanding that design offers and uh, a very uh, interesting and almost imperative alternative to stem education is now being manifested um and i'll just the last thing i'll say about this is you know why why is is it also so important is because 
of this uh, advent of artificial intelligence, which a lot of us are extremely worried about. Um, but as we continue to say that, you know, um, creativity and design will remain the bastions, the last bastions, I think, who, who can withstand this uh, alternative, uh, you know, of AI, because uh, uh, AI at, at this point of time, I don't know what's going to happen in the future, is, is actually talking about uh, data, and it's trying to look at people as bits, but um, the creative domain looks at, uh, as, at as a human being. I mean, we talk about human-centered design and life-centered design, and we place the human being in the center of the entire process. And uh, thankfully, human beings are far more complex right now than the AI would have us believe. Um, and therefore, um, if we have to equip ourselves with skills that will allow us to uh, react favorably to this. Uh, I, I don't think it's a fear. I don't think it's in some, it's, it's just a new thing that we have to get work our minds around. But I think a, a, a design education allows us to do that very effectively. Thank you so much, Dr. Nina. And just to summarize this in Hindi as well for some of the students, uh, Dr. Nina ne jo mentioned that ki jo our uh, creative careers hain, wo kisi bhi ek area mein seen it hain. So how she was talking about technology and design, architecture is another field, and performing arts, uh, just hama dance, music, theater ho gaya. So it's not streamlined to just one stream. It has multiple streams, bohat sare options hain. And school education mein kai baar hum logo ko utna exposure nahi hota. Students ko utna exposure nahi hota. As coaches also, we try and uh, make them aware of, about these careers. But the good point is try and explore yourself in terms of your creativity when you are in school. Aap thoda aur explore karo. Maybe you can take up art. Maybe you can take up a theater. Maybe you can take up any kind of creative field in your school and explore that part. Ki mujhe wo kaisa lag raha hai? Uh, Professor Arvind, over to you. What do you think are some new age and industry trends when it comes to creative careers or specifically design? Well, um, I think the first uh, trend that we are looking at already is uh, all our uh, all the people who are watching this webinar because they are what is called as uh, digital natives and that's the new population demographic trend that is actually uh, affecting the rest of the change that's taking place around us aap jo bacche hain aapke aap bachpan se hi aapko internet ya smartphone ye sab devices ye sab technologies wagaira uh, uh, streaming media ye aapko already प्रस्तुत या उपलब्ध थी आपने यूज करना शुरू शुरू कर दिया था हमारे जैसे लोगों के लिए ये बहुत नई चीज है हमने बहुत साल पुराने ट्रांजिस्टर रेडियो वगैरह या अखबार पढ़ने में उसमें गवाए हैं और फिर हमको सीखना पड़ा ये सब डिजिटल नई मीडिया जो आ, आ चुकी है और जो आजकल एकदम कॉमन हो चुकी है तो दैट इज द मेन ट्रेंड दैट आई वुड लाइक टू फ्लैग एंड आई थिंक वॉट इज रिक्वायर्ड देर फोर इज कम्प्लीट वी अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ how we uh, operate in a world populated by digital natives hamari population hamari jansankhya kam hoti ja rahi hai kyunki hamare generation guzarte ja rahe hain naye generation jo aa rahe hain wo puri duniya kuch saal mein 10 20 saal mein shayad 100% 70% jo aapki abadi hai population hai is prithvi ki wo sab digital native ho jayenge yani ki aap sab digital duniya mein jeene lagenge jo aajkal already kaam aam ho gaya jaise ki neena ji ne kaha ki covid ki wajah se we got a big push uh the whole the way in which we do our day to day work has suddenly become digitalized we in fact today uh, i went and voted and that was still uh, you know in person but kuch chand hi matlab aise saalon mein ye bhi digital ho jayega ye bhi online ho jayega maine ek court ka case bhi maine online usme attend kiya hai kyunki covid chal raha tha tab to courts mein bhi jaane ki zarurat nahi rahegi wo bhi online ho jayenge तो सवाल ये होता है कि अगर ये सारी चीजें ऑनलाइन चली गई हैं ये सारी चीजें डिजिटल हो जाएंगी और ऊपर से ये और ऑगमेंटेड रियलिटी वगैरह नई टेक्नोलॉजी दिया जाएंगी इमर्जल इमर्जिव टेक्नोलॉजीज तो उनके लिए पूरा पूरी जो हमारी जो एक्सपीरियंस हमारी जो दुनिया है उसको फिर से एक बार डिजिटल मीडिया के अंदर उसको रचना पड़ेगा दिस इज अ बिग क्रिएटिव चैलेंज हिस्टोरिकली लोग क्या करते हैं कि कोई टेक्नोलॉजी चेंज होती है जो पुरानी टेक्नोलॉजी है उसको कॉपी करके उसकी उसको नई टेक्नोलॉजी में अडेप्ट कर देते हैं जैसे कि आपके स्मार्टफोन में आप अगर आप आइकन देखें तो जो सेव का आइकन है वो एक फ्लॉपी डिस्क है 
लेकिन आपको पता ही नहीं कि फ्लॉपी डिस्क क्या होता है क्योंकि आपने कभी उसको यूज ही नहीं किया तो ये सब चीजें हमारे लिए अच्छी है क्योंकि हमने फ्लॉपी डिस्क यूज किया है तो हम समझ सकते हैं कि चलो फ्लॉपी डिस्क का मतलब सेव होता है लेकिन आपको ये इसकी जरूरत नहीं है आप तो बचपन से ही सेव करते आ रहे हैं और आपको फ्लॉपी डिस्क जैसे जो सिंबल्स हैं उससे आपको कोई ताल्लुक नहीं है तो दिस इज द चैलेंज टू कम्प्लीटली री इमेजिन द वर्ल्ड ऑफ डिजिटल एक्सपीरियंस फ्रॉम द पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू ऑफ इट्स एक्चुअल पॉपुलेशन फ्रॉम इट्स एक्चुअल यूजर्स this opens up i mean almost every field to be reimagined and like i mentioned it's not just about business or products or services it's also about governance it's also about social services about healthcare medicine counseling ye sari cheeze online uh, usko kaise usko present karna aur ye pura ek bada sa design challenge hai iske liye bahut sare designers ki zarurat hai bahut sare logon ki zarurat hai jo technology bhi samajhte hain aur design bhi samajhte hain this combination of skills is what the world needs in the next 10 or 20 years absolutely it's not one skill specific it's like multiple skills coming in together and changing the world and with technology as you rightly mentioned technology ke sath sath people human beings hum log kaise evolve kar rahe hain and to understand and tap into that that aspect is something that we can take into account and take it forward uh professor devakar over to you i i would want you to add for students regarding media studies also that as you are from both the uh, design and media uh, uh, studies at the university so you can just elaborate as to what are the industry trends when it comes to creativity in media studies specifically thank you somya and uh, very nicely you know said by dr nina and uh, uh, professor arvind uh, and you know as uh, professor arvind was speaking uh, you know i was i was trying to actually locate something which i had read some time back and fortunately i could locate that to main chahta hu ki you know i should share this with everybody who's there and this is in line with what dr nina said and what professor arvind said and aap samjhoge ki what exactly is happening in the world of today where technology technical skills have all merged into creativity and 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 design so it's no more now so these two domains have come together ek bada acche you know global expert hain globalization ko unka naam hai richard baldwin aur unhone ye kaha hai ki jo ai ya ya virtual reality hai ya phir remote intelligence hai isse hum log ko human beings ko bhi compete nahi karna chahiye kyunki human beings ne hi usko banaya right aur banaya kyun hai because primarily to process information that is why this has been created and obviously it is a very powerful platform very powerful you know way of processing information and churning out waste so rather than competing with this as human beings as professionals as people who are going to become more career professionals in future you should be building up skills which humans do and something what dr nina very rightly said it what do humans do it very well is imagination empathy फीलिंग्स जो हमारी होती ना वो सब चीजों को ध्यान करके उसको हमें इंटीग्रेट करना है हमें ये समझना जो कि ह्यूमन बींग्स कर सकते हैं कि कैसे डिफरेंट पार्ट्स को हम कनेक्ट सकते हैं प्रोफेसर अरविंद ने भी वर्क ऑन अमेजिंग अमाउंट ऑफ वर्क इन द एडवर्टाइजिंग इंडस्ट्री हाउ टू कनेक्ट द डॉट्स जो चीजें डिस्परेट है जो कि जुड़ी हुई नहीं दिखती है ह्यूमन बींग्स का माइंड उनको कनेक्ट कर लेता है नई चीज बना देता है ओनली ह्यूमन कैन डू इट या ए आई कैन डू इट but humans have a greater sense of imagination so we can form new opinions secondly can the machines dream machines can never dream humans dream so this is something what we say as human beings dream and apply those imagination also more important ai can do many things but the fact is humans can actually create think about creativity we can design few things we can prototypes and actually we can test it also so again that's a very very unique thing which human beings have it and by the way at the end of it i think what is needed in the world of today for all of you including us is to understand how you need to learn things so there is a kind of a, you know various courses many universities are doing it and i'm sure in design media skills everybody we are all teaching about it so there is a way of learning things very well and i think at the school level you should be understanding it even more so those are the things so in the world of today whether it is a media studies whether it is journalism advertising design ux whatever you say whichever area you want to go in i think it is important to treat that humanity as human beings it's an edge it's not a handicap ho kya raha hai jo ki dr nina bada very rightly said it in the world where technology engineering sciences mathematics is you know kind of ruling over this careers i'm not saying that this is wrong obviously it is very very correct 
We require that particular things. But what would happen, imagine, that you can marry again, as the world is saying, you marry the creativity, imagination, and all that we are talking about into a very specific, very output-driven, evidence-based things that we do. Imagine the kind of a career you make. So remember, humanity and human beings is an edge that you need to kind of you know curate and inculcate rather than a handicap. So do not get bogged down by the AI. AI is hum control kar rahe. Human beings are controlling it. And I think as Dr. Nina said, if you're creative, if you have an imagination, you can always outdo the AI. Eventually it is going to happen. So that's how I look at this entire quagmire or entire confusion or chaos which is happening. In fact, one more thing I'll say before I'll hand it over back to Soumya. And we also learn it even now. There's a way, who are the best professionals? The best professionals are the one who actually succeed and thrive in chaos. So chaos may aapko immerse karna hai. And a cricketing parlance aapko bolta hai, people who love sports. Jab sabse toughest point hota hai, sports people jo hote hai, sabse achha performance dete hai, champions. So aapko usi tarah se soncho ge na, so chaos ko embrace karo ge, ye confusion jo ho raha hai, bohut sara stress hai humare saamne, careers ko leke. And certainly human beings ka jo core hai, usko leke jab aage badho ge, certainly you realize you're finding out new ways of doing it. I mean, that's how I'll look at it in a larger sense. Thanks. Absolutely, absolutely. It's like finding uh, there's always an opportunity in adversity, as they say. So kind of making a pattern in the chaos as well. Very interesting. Thank you so much, Professor Devakar. Uh, so as we all uh, three of us, all four of us discussed about imagination. So with creative careers, the unique thing which I feel is that you imagine something before it actually comes into the reality. So there is a thought behind, there's an idea behind it. Then a lot of minds work on that idea and then it actually comes into reality. So that's a very unique thing. Uh, so Dr. Nina, I would like to start with you once again. What do you think are certain skill sets as a student? What are certain skill sets that I can learn starting from the school level if I want to really develop my creative mindset? So. Um... Just taking, of course, before I deep dive into these specific skills, just taking off from where the Professor Shukla left it, uh, about, you know, what is it that uh, a student in, in a school can get to the drawing board? So what happens at our university is that um, we get students from all over India. We get students, uh, some students also from abroad. Um, and they all come with their own unique uh, memories and their own unique experiences. And then when they come to the university, uh, we then give them a curriculum. And then uh, sometimes what happens is, and this is our endeavor to not allow that to happen, is that students try and start again. Uh, because, you know, they say, okay, now I'm going to do BDES in communication, so I'm going to now start thinking again. And what we keep telling them is that what makes you unique is the set of memories and experiences that you have gathered over the last 18 years. Please do not take them off the table. They are the ones that make you different from anybody else. They are the skills which will make you indispensable in a collaborative work environment, which design communities are now all about. It's no longer about uh, you know, people sitting and doing work on their own. You're always a part of a very large community and a very large collaborative unit. But what is it that will define you as uh, an integral part of that? That would be if you get yourselves to the table instead of leaving yourselves off it. So when children are at school, uh, some of our majority of our education in, is, is uh, sort of striving for conformity, where we try and say, you know, it's all about grades and uh, the first, second, third, uh, the amount of marks that you get. Um, and then we, we are comparing students with each other. Uh, now, these are uh, systemic issues which then uh, seep into our students and when they come to a design school, uh, they're again looking at it from the same lens and, and we spend a lot of time trying to tell them, you know what, it's not about grades, it's about what you learn. 
It's not about marks. It's not about assessment. It is what your portfolio shows. Uh, it's so therefore the primary skill that uh, I think uh, our students can start cultivating is to uh, invest in themselves, to uh, develop their own unique potentials and skills. So if you're good at anything, uh, you know, it could be dancing, drawing, painting, thinking. If you're a very good organizer, you like reading anything, start cultivating that. Start using that as your unique signature. Because when you come into, uh, it's not just the design domain, it's actually any creative domain. Um, what you are good at, what you are inherently, what you inherently enjoy doing, uh, what comes to you effortlessly, that is something that's going to stay with you and it's going to help you navigate yourselves through, um, you know, because design is not just a siloed career. I mean, in our university, we call ourselves a university without walls. And we encourage our students to take courses across domains. So we have fashion students doing an elective in architecture. We have architecture students doing an elective in performing arts. Why we are doing that is because uh, we are reacting to you know, the, the industry which is now no longer asking for very strict silos. They are, you know, graphic design and UI UX is merging with uh, product design, is merging with uh, uh, a lot of uh, looking at it as industrial and transportation design. And so instead of making very domain specific decisions, if you pick up the skills, which allow you to navigate through this huge world which you're going to encounter. So problem solving, uh, looking at things and breaking them down into sub themes, which then allows you to resolve them. So a solution to a problem, start breaking down things into their core components, trying to figure out how things work what makes things work. And when you understand how things work, then if they go wrong, then you can resolve it. So service design is, is a very upcoming thing in, in this field where you are looking at um, any domain and you're trying to devise systems and methods to navigate through all stuff that needs to be done. So um, it's, it's no longer about you know, your specialization. Are you a humanities student? Are you a science student? Are you a commerce student? In our university, more than 50% students are from a science background. They do their sciences and then they come into design. So we've stopped even you know, asking that as to where, is, where are you coming from? There is no uh, criteria as such. It's in architecture because of Council of Architecture, there are some requirements. But in design, uh, it doesn't really matter as long as you have uh, a portfolio. So start developing your own set of uh, ideas and your portfolio does not necessarily have, need to have graphics. Please write, do poetry, um, do anything that you think expresses your innate creativity. And of course, if you draw, it's fantastic. If, you're, if you have very good digital skills, then showcase them. Um, and keep, and now you know the world is flat. I mean, all of you have access to the World Wide Web. So you know what's out there. And sadly, we also know what's out there. So uh, see how you can develop a language which uh, tells your, uh, your faculty or your peers, uh, what is it that you are all about? Um, and I think as long as you focus on, on, on just developing your own innate creativity, you should be able to uh, look at this entire daunting process more effectively. Thank you so much, Dr. Neil. So it's, it's about bringing your authentic self, not just restricting yourself to marks or academics, uh, bringing who you are to the table also. And uh, World University of Design, dear students, that's very interesting. So they have so, so much of diversity when it comes to the student pool. So it's interesting. Check out the architecture and design courses at the university as well. Uh, Professor Ar Arvin, uh, I have a, a question, similar question regarding these skills, but also talking about Vidyashwak University and the courses specifically, which help students developing these skills over time. 
Sure. So uh, at Vidya Health, we have just launched one, the first uh, design program last year, and that is in communication design. But uh, what we have done is we have uh, uh, imagined it or programmed it around the contemporary uh, landscape of communication, which is predominantly digital. So instead of being the slightly older type of graphic design or um, communication design package, what we have tried to do is make it more like content creation, content design, which means that uh, the students not only have to learn the aspects of visual design, but they also have to learn uh, content writing itself. So there's a strong emphasis on uh, writing as much as designing. Uh, there's also an element of understanding the media platforms and technologies on which content is published today. And it's a changing thing. Her how to be up to date on that. Or last but not least, about business, of course. Because it is very important that you create content or publish content. It has to sustain itself in some way, either for yourself or for your clients or for your employer that you are doing it for. So our program is really around content creation. Uh, it covers the four kind of themes, broadly speaking. It covers the whole art aspect, which is the creative and visual aspect. It also covers a strong science aspect because design be vigyan ke bina nahi hota. Uske liye bhi you have to understand psychology, you have to understand cognition, you have to understand how human beings respond to triggers, to stimuli, to motivations. Ye sab is bahut jana zaruri hai. To ye uska vigyan bhi hota hai. And then, as I said, technology, the technological platforms, the tools, the infrastructure on which you will create and publish the content and manage the content. And last but not the least, the business aspect of it. What I want to say about the skill part, uh, taking off from what uh, Neela ji had just uh, said, which I completely endorse, that the biggest skill that I think uh, young we look for in the student, and I would encourage students to cultivate, is uh, your your child childness. Uh, because hum sab mein, uh, we are playful, we are curious, we imagine and fantasize a lot, we like nice things. Yehi aapki jo instinct science, wo bahut sahi hai, aur wo design ke liye bahut hi powerful hoti hai. अगर अनफॉर्चूनेटली क्या होता है कि हम जो स्कूल में जाते हैं या तो बड़े जब होते हैं मतलब 5 साल से लेकर 15 साल की उम्र तक तो तब तक और लॉट ऑफ दीस इंस्टिंक्टिव एबिलिटीज दीस आई कॉल देम आर सुपर पावर्स दीस आर योर सुपर पावर्स दिस इज व्हाट वी लाइक यू टू ब्रिंग टू आवर कॉलेज और टू एनी ऑफ दीस कॉलेजेस बिकॉज़ आई एम श्योर ऑल ऑफ अस विल एग्री दैट दीस आर द द रॉ मटेरियल फ्रॉम व्हिच अ फैंटास्टिक करियर एंड अ टैलेंट कैन एक्चुअली बी शेप्ड आउट एंड आई मीन आई एम नॉट मेकिंग डिड नॉट इंटेंडेड टू बी दैट वे बट हमारा University ka naam Vidya Shilp hai. So we believe in molding the talent rather than forcing it into, into some boxes. So that is just on an aside. So ye jo teen cheeze hai, curiosity, aapki jo jigyasa hai, natural curiosity, jigyasa, kutuhal, playfulness, dousri jo fantasy hai, yaani ki kalpana hai, jo imagination hai, usko bilkul aap limitless kar dijiye. Or last but not the least, jo aapka ye jo nice things, attractive things, beautiful things, iske taraf jo aapki jo instinct hai, जो कि कला या सौंदर्य उसकी तरफ आपको जो ड्रॉ करती है ये तीन अगर आप इंस्टिंक्ट्स को आप डेवलप करेंगे या कल्टीवेट करेंगे तो आप में बिल्कुल आर्टिस्ट या डिजाइनर बनने की पूरी पूरे पूरी फाउंडेशन तैयार हो जाएगी एक और चीज जो मैं बताना चाहूंगा कि इन आर्ट एंड डिजाइन करियर्स वन ऑफ द बिगेस्ट चेंजेस दैट यू हैव टू बी रेडी फॉर इज व्हिच इज व्हाट स्कूल हैज नॉट टॉट यू इज दैट देयर इज नो राइट आंसर ठीक है ना आपने 10 12 साल स्कूल में यही सीखा है कि हर सवाल के लिए एक ही जवाब होता है और अगर वो जवाब आप नहीं पाते हैं तो यू गेट रॉन्ग मार्क्स सो यू गेट जीरो मार्क्स और यू फेल द प्रॉब्लम विद मोस्ट स्टूडेंट्स हु कम टू जॉइन प्रोग्राम्स लाइक आवर्स इज दैट वी टेल देम दैट इसके लिए कोई सवाल सही जवाब नहीं है सब ऑल इन यू कैन इन फैक्ट इवन द बेस्ट आंसर इन द वर्ल्ड यू कैन टेक अगर आपको लगता है कि एप्पल का आईफोन दुनिया का सबसे बेहतरीन फोन है इससे अच्छा तो कुछ हो ही नहीं सकता वी विल चैलेंज यू बिकॉज़ दैट इज द होल एटीट्यूड ऑफ बीइंग एन आर्टिस्ट or a designer or a creative professional is that there is no limit to improvement there is no limit to innovation there is no limit to perfection it will it is only subject to what somebody else has done and one of the things that it does is and this i'm speaking a little slightly more grown up way is that uh, it also requires that we are uh, we have to be very critical uh, most designers or people from a design background you will find are never satisfied कि वो कहीं भी कुछ भी अगर उम्दा चीज आपको दिखाएंगे तो देवी से हाँ अच्छा है लेकिन उसमें ये थोड़ी खामी है ये थोड़ी प्रॉब्लम है ये थोड़ा अगर होता तो शायद अच्छा होता दैट इज़ द अदर कैन ऑफ़ फसी क्रिटिकल एटीट्यूड व्हिच आल्सो एक्चुअली इज़ वेरी हेल्पफुल इन बीइंग अ डिजाइनर तो दैट्स माय रिस्पांस
Thank you so much, Professor Edwin. So we'll keep our child alive. As we are growing up, we, we don't want to lose our child that we have, the inner child that we have. Absolutely. Absolutely. And uh, and the most interesting part is students who just say, I right, a wrong answer. This is right, this is wrong. There's nothing right and wrong. In creative career, it's about possibilities. Kya create kar sakte hai, no? Very and then always better. Ye better or not better. That is the only criteria on which we will judge your work. Ki, can this be made better? Can this have you done the best that's possible? Ye hai jada aham rakti hai, rather than ki aapne sahi answer paya hai ki nahi. Absolutely, absolutely. Thank you so much, Professor Edwin. Uh, Professor Devakar, uh, similar question. Yes, skills definitely. And uh, uh, Jagran Lake City University, mein, what are the certain courses and kya specific skills on courses may learn kar sakte students when, when they come to the university? So, uh, so one, uh, like Professor Arvind said, these uh, are meta skills, hai, actually. Bahut, bahut, uh, you know, sabse unique hai, bahut, uh, you know, high level ki lag rahi hai swak, but they are very basic to us and uh, very rightly said by him, ki curiosity is the big thing. और हम जो चाइल्ड लाइक होते हैं वो कंडीशन हो जाते हैं हम हम ही लोग आप लोग को सिखा देते हैं ऐसी ऐसी चीजें बट यू हैव टू यू नो यू हैव टू सेव योरसेल्फ फ्रॉम मेनी ऑफ द थिंग्स व्हिच वर्ल्ड वांट्स टू टीच यू सो आई थिंक प्रोफेसर अरविंद दैट वे इज इज ब्रिलियंट ही इन फैक्ट वन ऑफ द थिंग्स सोमिया व्हिच वी डू बिकॉज़ एज अ यूनिवर्सिटी जागलेक सिटी यूनिवर्सिटी इज अ मल्टी डिसिप्लिनरी यूनिवर्सिटी एंड आई थिंक लाइक लाइक समवन सेड कि इतने सारे डिसिप्लिन सब कन्वर्ज हो चुके हैं दूसरे में वी यू कैन नॉट से एंड दैट्स अ रीजन यू नो this this time when you are getting to or you will get into the higher education is a very exciting time because you can actually explore things in any directions and still pers- keep on pursuing whatever you want to do eventually so i think there is an opportunity for that at our university uh, of course it's a multidisciplinary university so different departments hain but uh, one of the key departments which i'll overlook is the faculty of journalism and creative studies and as you said in the beginning यहाँ पे जर्नलिज्म प्रोग्राम से अंडर ग्रेजुएट और पोस्ट ग्रेजुएट के मास कम्युनिकेशन के हैं एडवर्टाइजिंग पब्लिक रिलेशन के प्रोग्राम है इवेंस एंटरटेनमेंट के प्रोग्राम है बिकॉज दैट इज अनादर वेरी बिग एरिया विच इज ग्रोइंग क्रिएटिव इंडस्ट्रीज में अंदर वो भी आ रहा है एंड ऑफकोर्स द डिजाइन प्रोग्राम्स डिजाइन प्रोग्राम्स में यू एक्स यू आई इज इज ऑब्वियसली वेरी आई वुड से हॉट इस वक्त बींग प्रमोटेड एवरीबडी गोज फॉर यू एक्स यू आई एंड येस ऑफकोर्स समबडी हैज बिकॉज टेक्नोलॉजी प्लेटफॉर्म्स हैं तो उसमें बहुत जरूरत है इस चीज की But again, I always say, uh, you know, to our students also, eventually UX, UI हो चाहे वो graphic designing हो, eventually base सब का common है. आप किसी तरह से कर सकते हैं. कल मेरा एक एक बड़ा simple सा एक तरीका है कहने का कि आप जैसे हम लोग पहले भी कहते थे कि आप storyteller बनना चाहते हैं या सिर्फ software manager बनना चाहते हैं. अगर software change हो गए, तो फिर आप क्या करोगे? Software तो change हो रहा है. शायद हर हफ्ते, हर महीने change हो रहा है. So I think what is important is the core skills. So UX UI है fashion uh, fashion communication है uh, graphic design is another program but one of the biggest areas which I see growth happening because my university is in Central India which is in Bhopal and यहाँ पे मैं देख रहा हूँ and I think it's again a very very uh, you know big area जो कि anybody who is interested in illustrations drawing creativity as Professor Arvin said is this animation film design animation is becoming very very big and it has a different deployment उसके लिए सिर्फ फिल्म नहीं बनानी होती है एनिमेशन कहीं पे भी यूज हो रहा है सो आई थिंक एनिमेशन फिल्म डिजाइन भी एक बहुत बड़ा एरिया है uh, सौम्या जो तुमने uh, बात पूछी कि स्किल्स को लेकर के एंड पर्टिकुलरली फॉर आस आई थिंक इट्स नॉट वेरी यूनिक टू अस आई वुड से इट्स आई एम श्योर इट इज हैपनिंग विद डॉक्टर इनाज यूनिवर्सिटी एंड अरविंद यूनिवर्सिटी एज वेल वन ऑफ द थिंग्स यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड और सब इन जितने लोग हैं यहाँ पे दे शुड अंडरस्टैंड कि आपको किस आपको स्किल्स को भी अलग अलग कैटेगरी में रखना होगा सोचना होगा एटलीस्ट अब स्किल्स कैसे हो सकती हैं या तो आपकी क्रिएटिव वर्क हो सकता है क्रिएटिव स्किल्स हो सकती हैं जो भी उसकी डेफिनेशन हो ठीक है सेकेंडली स्किल ऐसी भी होती हैं जो कि रोड पे डिपेंड करती हैं कि आइडिया इस कि आपके पास में कोई स्किल है लेकिन हो सकता है कि वो स्किल हम मशीन से सॉल्व कर दें हो सकता है उसमें रोबोट लगा दें तो क्या होगा आपकी स्किल रहेगी वो क्या सो क्रिएटिविटी जो होती है क्रिएटिव वर्क होता है वो इमेजिनेटिव होता है यूनिक होता है नॉन रूटीन बेस्ड होता है तो ऐसी स्किल्स को मेटा स्किल्स कहते हैं उन स्किल्स पे आप ज्यादा इन्वेस्ट कर सकते हैं एंड आई थिंक समथिंग व्हाट प्रोफेसर अरविंद वाज सेइंग अगर आप उसको डेवलप करोगे क्यूरोसिटी बेसिस पे सो so कोई भी आपको रिप्लेस नहीं कर पाएगा आपकी यूनिक स्किल होगी एंड दिस इज समथिंग वी कीप ऑन टेलिंग आवर स्टूडेंट्स एज वेल अनदर थिंग व्हिच वी आर वेरी वेरी इंटरेस्टेड बिकॉज़ अंडर आवर फैकल्टी एट जेएलयू वी आल्सो हैव वेरी वेरी रोबस्ट एंड अ वेरी फ्लरिशिंग आई वुड से जर्नलिज्म प्रोग्राम्स एंड जर्नलिज्म भी बहुत 
चेंज हो चुका है आज के समय में बहुत कुछ डिफरेंट हो चुका है स्टोरी टेलिंग में सो हम लोग का कहना यह है कि अगर आपको यूनिक सोल्यूशन चाहिए लोग बहुत कहते हैं जैसे कहते हैं ना क्लिशेड एक वर्ड होता है इनोवेशन इनोवेटिव आपको सोल्यूशन चाहिए इनोवेटिव वेज ऑफ आपको देना है तो आपको क्वेश्चन इनोवेटिव पूछने होंगे जब आप क्वेश्चन इनोवेटिव पूछोगे डिफरेंट तरीके से पूछोगे तो आपको आंसर्स भी डिफरेंट मिलेंगे सो so, तरीका ये है कि आप एबिलिटी टू आस्क क्वेश्चन अबाउट योर सेल्फ अबाउट योर फैमिली अबाउट द नेबरहुड अबाउट द कंट्री अबाउट दिस एवरीथिंग वी आर डूइंग दिस वेबनार आउट टू आस्क क्वेश्चन पुट अप क्वेश्चन थिंक क्वेश्चन अमंग योर सेल्फ वेन यू आस्क क्वेश्चन यूल कीप ऑन गेटिंग आंसर आफ्टर आंसर एंड बड़ी एक यूनिक हम लोग को चीज सिखाई जाती थी एंड आई एम श्योर दैट बोथ ऑफ माई कलीग्स यहाँ आउट है नो अबाउट इट देर अ टेक्निक ऑफ वाई चेनिंग राइट आप क्वेश्चन पूछते जाइए ना वाई देखते हैं कब तक वाई जाता है एक पॉइंट आएगा जहां पे वाई के आगे कहोगे अब क्या वाई हो सकता है किसी चीज का एंड फिर मैं वही चीज कहूंगा जो अभी डॉक्टर प्रोफेसर अरविंद ने कहा कि एक बच्चे से आप तीन साल चार साल पांच साल के बच्चे से बात करिए अपने छोटे से जूनियर से बात करिए उनसे सोचो और रिकॉर्ड करते रहो कैसे क्वेश्चन पूछते हैं उनको घुमाने ले जाओ बाहर एंड सर्नली देर कीप ऑन आस्किंग ये पीला क्यों होता है सूरज ये हरी क्यों होती है घास एंड यू कीप ऑन आंसरिंग आई शुड डू इट विद माई डॉटर देर वॉज नो एंड टू द क्वेश्चन विच किड्स आस्क आप तो उस एज में हो जहां क्वेश्चन पूछना ही है आपको हमें राइट right? सो so, एक जो ये टेक्निक्स की हम बात कर रहे हैं स्किल्स की बात कर रहे हैं एडवाइस की बात कर रहे हैं स्टूडेंट्स को वो चीजें हम जेलू में बहुत फोर्स करते हैं अच्छा यूनिक प्रोग्राम इसलिए बन जाते हैं बिकॉज जितने प्रोग्राम है उसको हम प्रोजेक्ट बेस्ड अप्रोच लेके चलते हैं यानी कि इट इज नॉट जस्ट अबाउट सेटिंग इन अ क्लास एंड स्टडिंग एंड स्टडिंग स्टडिंग इट इज अबाउट रियल वर्ल्ड प्रोजेक्ट विच यू गेट एंड यू वर्क अराउंड इट इट कुड बी फॉर अवर सेमेस्टर इट कुड बी फॉर अर इंटायर ईयर and when you work on a single problem challenge around you you are obviously coming up with a unique solutions which actually make your portfolio and credentials even better bahut achhi cheez dr niran kahi the and i want to emphasize again on that please do not abandon i remember i know many of the students who are in the university ask me sir we do not get time for our passion i mean what is your passion so my passion is poetry my passion is classical music I mean that is the core area which is which you need to be working if you are in creative industries or in design or communication. उसको आप abandon कर ही नहीं सकते वो passion आपका parallel चलते रहना चाहिए. And these are the things which we work very well. We also get lot of class critiques done, which means peer to peer review करना है चूसे को. I think that is a better way than just a professor reviewing your work. I think that's another very very good way of doing it. And I think what we have done it, and I'm sure that you know two or five other universities would also have the same. we have been able to create a world class media production facilities and i think those are the creative spaces where students actually thrive and bahut zaruri hai aisi facilities hona universities mein jahan pe they are beyond just the classroom in a structured way and they are working the way that they want to work of course within the parameters of the frameworks of education whatever universities do i think the way the students are shaping up the way that they are going to the industry and working I think we are on the right track. I would not say we are highly, highly successful, but we are on the right track. Thank you so much, Professor Devakar. So it's it's about in keeping that why in mind and keeping on keep on asking questions. Uh, I, to summarize, I can say that uh, keeping that curiosity alive within us always. specifically coming on to the courses uh, dr neena i have a question for you when it comes to world university of design what's the admission uh, procedure and uh, selection process like for the students and what do you look for in a student once you select them if you could elaborate a bit on this so we have a exam that we have we hold uh, i think it is already done on the 15th of april ankit will be in a much better position to guide us on the dates etc um and all i can and so all our students go through a very rigorous counseling process at uh, ankit has a huge team um and the reason for that is because uh, we have a very wide variety of uh, programs and within those programs there are specializations so uh because students are not very sure of exactly which field they should uh, look at uh we we try and counsel the students and also the parents to to position them in a place which we think is appropriate for them based on their you know, what they say if they have a portfolio if uh, they have a certain set of uh, you know requirements about why they want to do this particular degree 
So we try and counsel them. What we look for in a student primarily is the ability to um, uh, be flexible and constantly learn. Because uh, again, as uh, Professor Shukla was saying, uh, you know, the silos between these domains are also rapidly disintegrating. So, you know, you can start off with a specialization. I mean, we have a foundation program which runs across all our programs. So there uh, we allow all the students to explore everything that they could want to. We also have a very robust electives program where throughout their four years, uh, students every semester are exposed to other schools and what is happening there. Because as all of us agree, the the skills across all of these uh, fields are very similar. It's just, and eventually what we start finding is uh, in our electives that students from the School of Fashion paint beautifully. And the school from, uh, you know, the, from the School of Visual Arts, they do fantastic fashion designing because their core design thinking skills and their core creative skills are fairly nuanced and developed. So they can take on anything. And that's what we keep saying that at the end of the day, uh, you know, you can choose what you want to do, but you should be able to do just about everything because those are the skills that we cultivate amongst all our students. So when we are taking students in, uh, we, we definitely try and uh, expose them to the wide array of possibilities within WUD. And therefore they can either make their minds up right in, in the beginning, or they can also take time and look at it along the way. And after foundation, they can start thinking, you know, what is it that interests them? What is it that they are good at? And then they can choose what it is that they want. Uh, Ankit, do you want to add anything to that? You're on mute, Ankit. Thank you. So yes, we have an upcoming exam on 20th of May. And uh, it is an exam wherein design aptitude is basically checked so the questions are related to the imagination and creativity of the student so right now we are not looking at that how well they can draw but we are looking at what kind of imagination they are having and what they what all they can think in a given situation and once they qualify the entrance exam it is followed by an interview come portfolio round so if a student is having some work which they have already done, it can be a, it can be sketches, it can be 3D models, or maybe anything else they have done in their school time. They can showcase their work. And based on that, we take them ahead with us. And also faculties start talking to the students once Ankit has gone through the basics. And then our faculty does counseling and that's very helpful for both the faculty and the students because it allows both to you know get an exposure of what's happening so the student also is fairly uh, confident that uh, once the faculty is talking to them about what it is that they have showcased in their portfolios thank you so much uh, dr nina and ankit uh, professor arvind uh, same question, what's the admission uh, procedure, selection procedure like at the university and what kind of students you look for when finalizing? So because we are a, a slightly different focused program, which is looking at content creation, we are looking at uh, not only at students with a more uh, visual or artistic kind of uh, background or aptitude, uh, but even uh, somebody who brings in a uh, strength in writing and expression through words uh, is welcome. Uh, so the ability to summarize, the ability to critique or review, express yourself verbally is also one of the factors that we give weightage to. Though we don't make it, it is not a requirement that if you have not, then we will teach you. But if you have we will of course be happy that you bring that talent with you. Uh, our admission process is first we have a um, psychometric kind of a test which is actually administered by Mindler itself. So you have Mindler ka jo test hai, aptitude wala, wo dena padega. Uske se, then you are taken forward to an uh, interview or a conversation round. In addition, you have to also submit a, state, a letter of intent or a statement of purpose. Aapko portfolio ki nahi hai. In our university, we are not insisting on a portfolio right now because we don't have like 
hundreds and thousands of students applying. We have small numbers of students. So we can actually have a lot of intimate one-to-one -one conversations with the students. Uh, as Dr. Nina also said, we also have a similar faculty-led counseling process. So faculty talent hai ya potential hai and what are also your interests. Hum, we also advise you sometimes not to apply. If we find that actually you are you are coming here with a slightly different expectation and maybe it may not be fulfilled here. So uh, we also try and because we offer other programs as well, we try and turn you towards a better fit. Sometimes that also happens. Uh, based on that, then there is a, a final conclusive interview stage in which we have a uh, you know all the uh, key points that we are assessing are actually evaluated through the conversation with the panel. Uh, and that then based on that, then we offer the uh, admission itself. Uh, I also want to say that uh, uh, the program itself is um, uh, totally, I mean, uh, all the design programs, that degree programs are now four years in length, about 160 plus credits, uh, all of them. Are. We have specializations in uh, user experience design, UX design, which is very popular, as uh, Devakarji also said. Uh, but we also have a specialization in design research which we feel is a growing field. hot demand But in the next few years, it is going to become a really, really important topic. So we have already introduced uh, an option to specialize in design research. Uh, upcoming on the uh, specialization list is, uh, again, something that Devakarji mentioned, we are also actively uh, working to bring in that specialization in animation, because that has a very wide application in the digital world. Uh, Similar to the electives that Neenaji mentioned, we offer minors, which are drawn from the other courses that we are also offering at the university. So a design student can choose to major in communication design with a specialization in user, uh, user experience or design research. But you can also opt for a minor, which is about 25 credits, which is a lot. facility in economics, psychology, marketing, finance or data sciences. These are related with the other courses that we are offering. So you do some, some courses along with your other uh, batch mates in the same space also. Uh, so that's an overview of the program that we are offering. We also have an internship and a capstone project, which, which has an industry experience. The last two years, the third year and fourth year, are usually spent in a kind of immersion with a chosen industry. If you have a specific industry, mein career banana hai, so we try and find projects or opportunities for you so that in your third year and fourth year, you can do much of your project work in those fields, in those areas itself, ideally with some kind of industry connection or support itself, so that by the time you graduate, you're actually pretty well versed with the, the protocols and the culture of that particular sector, and you can integrate uh, and start joining the workforce very, very fast. Because one of the feedback that we have received uh, earlier from many employers is that uh, our designers to bahut train karte hain lekin jab aap company mein unko bhejte hain to 6 mahine unko lag jate hain train karne mein so that they can actually start being productive in our company so mindful of that we are also trying to chain that process a little bit to pehle se hum aapko train karna shuru kar dete hain so that by the time you graduate you have the minimum kind of uh, transition period in your job Thank you so much, Professor Arvind. And with both the university students, you have the support of faculty even in your selection process as well. So that's very interesting. Do reach out to both, uh, all three universities. Uh, Professor Devakar, similar question over to you. Jagra Lake City University, the selection procedure, uh, what, what is it like and uh, what kind of student do you look for? Uh, one is obviously, uh, you know, as well as a design. In fact, I would say not just a design, but communication and journalism and advertising, as I said it, for entire set of programs, we look for number one, whether the person has, or the, or the student who's applying for it, has some purpose. When I say purpose means is whether they are really keen on getting into this particular creative industries area, so to say. Many times, uh, you know, I have seen students saying that they want to get into it, but they actually are looking for a job. So they say, okay, if I do this particular thing, I'll get a job. Of course, I mean, I my favorite saying is that even after class 12 today, if you have skills, you get a good high paying job. I have many, many cases that I know of. So that's not the point. The point is that if you really want to get into this these domains, design, communication, whatever, I think what is very important is whether you really have an interest and passion into it, whether you scribble and doodle at in you know leisure time, whether while we are doing this webinar, some of you who are attending would also be doodling and you know coming out with some great masterpieces. Fair enough. I mean, that's really what we look for. 
So the process is that we have an entrance exam, which is called JLUET. It is done on a cyclical basis, not just once in a year. And uh, you appear for that. Then you, and again, it's a very, very simple, you know, kind of a uh, entrance test, I would say, where your abilities to imagine, create, think, explore, those dimensions are only, you know, kind of, I would say, I would not say judged, but definitely tested to a bit. So that's one. Then post that, you come for the public uh, personal interviews, PIs, along with the portfolios. And uh, we are not very strict with the portfolios when it comes to what kind of additional portfolios are made, but your works, essentially. You can come up with the works and say that this is what I want to do. You have your photographs, you have your poetry, you have your music videos, whatever you have done it, you just showcase it in front of the professors. And I think that's good enough for us to get a sense where you'll be going. And I think very rightly said by Professor Arvind, there are times when we do advise you that this may not really be the space that you should be working in. You can take up any areas which are closer to whatever you wanted to. That was a second option for you. And you can also get into design and these skills as a part of a minor or open electives. So that's something that we have been able to do. Um, it's very important for us to also kind of keep on nudging our students, even the prospects, to ensure that they are, they are creating a lot of things on their own as well. So it is not just about the assignments that we do, a lot of things, on, the, but they need to keep on doing it. Second, as I said it earlier also, we constantly from year one, we start, you know, I would say this is something that we are all very happy doing it. We kind of, from semester one, we start giving them a sense of research part of it, because I think that is where most of us go very, very weak, whether it is industry or the universities. And we're not talking of a research, which is like a PhD. We're talking of, having that inquiry-based perspectives on things. So we keep on getting that. So every student we have seen by the time they touch the second semester of four-year program of undergraduate and two years for the master's, they essentially know exactly how the referencing is done, how literature reviews are done, how to observations and how to triangulate and how to capture those things, how to video and audio document those stories and things. on, And that becomes the basis for them to actually build up on whatever ideas they have it because i think it's very important while creativity imagination on one side is actually free flowing it is absolutely important to kind of channel and funnel it also to some extent so so i think research from that aspect and if you have good mentors they are able to kind of channel all those energies into a way and they come up with it very recently in fact about a week back because the final examinations are on i was part of some of the vivas of some students of second year of this uh, design BDS program, they had gone to the villages of Central India and they uh, only one problem was there because Central India has a huge issue when it comes to nutrition. So I think they had gone to the villages and semi-small towns to find out what really is the crux of the problem. And they've come up with such exciting you know, areas to work on. I'm not saying they're perfect, but so exciting. I don't think many of the researchers would have been able to do the, what these kids have been able to do. So I think, again, research is very, very important across all domains. But yeah, you appear for the JLUT, you then come for the PIs, and then you show the portfolios along with it. And I think that's the way to go. Also, we have, I mean, as a university, again, we do that humongous level of scholarships we offer. Uh, because I think one of the things that as a university we've been able to say is that everybody is an artist and everybody is a, is a successful career person. So I think why not offer that particular thing? And so different kind of scholarships are giving. And, and I think it is worth it to apply for those scholarships, whether it is from a sports perspective or academics or merit-based, whatever. But I think it is worth applying for those scholarships as well and, and making sure that you are flourishing. Thank you. Thank you so much, Professor Devakar. Uh, to all my panelists, thank you so much. Thank you so much. The, the audience, just one last quick question. Any tips, any last thoughts, any uh, kind of tips that you would like to give to all the youngsters who've joined in today? Uh, Dr. Nina, over to you. Um, I think I've said a lot already. I was just reading some of the questions and one of the questions that came up, which we talk about a lot in the university is, um, what's the point of a four-year degree program when there are so many certificate courses out there, uh, six months, uh, a diploma, and especially parents come and ask us? Um, and that is possibly the question that I would like to address from the perspective of already what Professor Shukla has said to some extent. So 
the difference between uh, a certificate or a diploma and a university degree, to put it very simply, is that that's a training program. Uh, it's going to train you to do something, but um, education and training and uh, you know, skilling and vocation, these are all uh, uh, sort of, you know, different kind of batches of, 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 of higher education that we can look at. Um, and therefore, if you do a six month or uh, uh, certificate course, you may pick up the skill, but that skill will get outdated by the time you finished your certificate, yeah. because something new will come up. And then uh, it's actually a bit unscrupulous uh, for a lot of these training institutes out there who say, you know what, are you going to learn how to do a, a particular software and you're going to get a job? But by the time the poor student reaches the, 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 the office, that that software is already been, uh, you know, uh, declared defunct and something new has come up and then they will say, okay, fine, you're going to teach us something new. Uh, in a university situation, um, as already Professor uh, Arvind has, and Professor Shukla have said, a very integral part of your education is research. Um, now, why is research important for, for a student who's going to go out there and get a job? We get that question a lot, you know. How is it going to help me uh, be employable or, or do? And all we try and tell them is that, um, and this has been happening for a bit, that you're no longer skilling yourselves for a job because the job that you're skilling yourself for possibly doesn't exist today, but will exist when you leave. Uh, or uh, jobs that you were skilling yourselves for are already gone. So, uh, you know, how is it that you're going to start making a correlation between getting a placement or a job and a, a, a degree uh, it's it's all it's it's a very volatile field out there it, it's the goalpost is changing so rapidly so back to you know what we started off by saying if we can cultivate a certain set of skills which allow us to adapt to this rapidly changing environment out there then that uh, is something which only a four year degree program will let you do because we spend, uh, you know, as we've already said it, uh, a lot of time in, you know, developing core skills, uh, looking at it as a craft, trying to make sure that they understand the tools and techniques. And then you graduate to a level where you are asking very difficult questions and trying to solve those questions. And hopefully those are the questions which when they go out there in the real world, they would have the skill set. So it's, you know, it's no longer about the product that you're designing, but the process by which you design that product, because the product will be gone. You know, you're trying to design, let's say, a mouse or something. And, you know, by the time you're out there, the mouse is now something else. So we keep trying to tell them that, you know, the process is something that you need to be very, very well versed in so that you can, you know, approach any problem out there. And when you go out there, whatever is happening, you have the basic skill sets to approach that. And that only a four-year degree program can give you and not a certificate program. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Neena. Professor Arvind, any last thoughts from you? Uh, I'll try and keep it brief. I think the main advice I'd like to leave uh, our young friends is uh, have faith in yourself. Uh, Life will be not always easy. You might get discouraged. You might also not perform up to your own expectations, but don't give up. Don't lose that kind of faith that you have in yourself. Be very aware and mindful of yourself. Keep yourself very, very up to date with your own life. But the only condition is you have to strive to be better than everyone. You cannot accept something that is mediocre or ordinary because that means that you have given up. If you have faith in yourself, you deserve to be better than everyone else in your own way. And your, your real, real treasure, which we will also value when you, if you come to our college and universities, I, I'm sure my colleagues will, is your own uniqueness and originality. Because in the creative field, the magic word is originality. Thank you. Thank you so much, Professor Arvind. Professor Dimakar. So, uh, uh, I would say, uh, you know, one of the abilities that we have kept on talking throughout this webinar is, is continue to scan the environment that you are in. And when I say environment, it means wherever, whichever town you are, as I said, neighborhood, your colonies, whatever you want to see, your cities, please keep on scanning. And also keep on talking and speaking to people. You realize the, the professionals and people who are successful today that you look up to. And you really, you 
kind of you know delve deep down and understand why are they successful it's really not just about that they topped or they went to harvards and xyz of the world the fact is that they were able to push themselves to come up with their skills and solutions for the world so if you can make an impact on the world even a smallest of the problem you will be prized you will be valued whether it is engineering or it is design or journalism or communication whatever you want to do so that's number one so please look at things which is a large picture and make sure that you find solutions to that and those abilities would come like what dr nina very rightly said it by understanding processes don't take shortcuts otherwise if you have to take the shortcuts you just have to learn the skills only why do you want to even get into universities you can just go and join a place have you ever seen a mechanic on the road the person does a fabulous job but then if the mechanics can only do thing then there should be no engineering degrees in the world so you need to understand the things because many times when you face troubles when you face complexity it's the theories the theoretical constructs is the it's a processes as dr nina said would help you to chart out your your pathways ahead so that's number one and last thing i'll say which is very critical for all of you please do not make a 50 year 50 year plan this is where i am going to be well it sounds very very good you must do it but i think look at small things it's like have you seen those games you take small steps and if you take small step today every day you do a self certificate here you do a degree there you talk attend a webinar there everything would add up and also be sherlock holmes which professor arvind, arvind very rightly said please be sherlock holmes or or whatever whichever investigative officer you want to be search for clues in the environment search for things which are happening in the world around you and then relate to whatever you want to do you'll be successful of course you need to decide on whichever universities you want to go i would say in the last just a second more please go to the universities whichever way you want to go do not just fall for huge campuses great things i know they are all very important please look for good professors and good mentors critical otherwise everything goes for waste right all of us three of us are sitting here we still now go back to our professors to talk to them when we get stuck so please look for universities who have the best professors people who can mentor you i think that's what i would close on thank you thank you so much professor divakar thank you so much panelists thank you so much audience if you have any questions any doubts just reach out to us at hello@mindler.com so we can help you when it comes to i see so a lot of questions on career counseling or i'm confused about my choices so we can really help you there and do apply to all the three universities and looking forward in many many more panel discussions together thank you so much thank you so much samia